Welcome back to Araton Empire. Still your G Tamboy Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajist. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept all the very vocabularies of the Isis. And today gist is fully loaded. Very interesting, very, very captivating. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ken Kalasha and Kanye West, Bobby Risky. Turn to DK Charlie. This gist is loaded. I can't wait to offload it. But before we do that, please subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget like, comment, share with your friends so that you can be part of this wonderful family. Da! Today is Father's Day and uh, I want to use this opportunity to wish all the fathers in the world a very warming, beautiful Father's Day. I wish them all the best and may God strengthen them. Let them keep on being the good father and take care of their responsibilities. Yes. Okay, still on Father's Day, you know, Ken, Ken Kadasha and Kanye West, let's talk about them. Ken Kadasha came out and posted on her Instagram page wishing Kanye West happy Father's Day and she really wrote something, you know, warming, something emotional, wishing him Happy Father's Day. Okay, let me read it for you guys. Now, this is what this is what she she wrote. Thank you for being the best dad to our babies and loving them the way you do. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, that's what she wrote. For Ken Kadasha to remember in the West. Day, Father's Day. I think she has really done well. You know, I I wasn't expecting it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it because looking at what has been happening between both of them, you know, last year they had a really big issue going on around them, and even early this year too, there have been this back and forth between them. So they have a lot going on in their family relationship. Yes, although they are divorced now, but they still have a lot going on in their union. So I'm really surprised seeing her, you know, writing this kind of thing and also wishing Kanye West happy Father's Day. That's really nice of her. And I just hope that they will reconcile. I mean, they will trash out their differences and reconcile. Because they are really good together. Our right, guys, what do you think? Okay, so let's talk about Tonto DK. Tonto DK has finally come out to admit that yes, truly, her love life story failed. You know, you know, Tonto Dika has been this kind of lady that she, she's so bossy, like she doesn't want people to feel like she's, she's frustrated or feel like she's emotionally down. You know, anytime you see her going through this relationship saga, you know, you see her coming up online, looking beautiful and posting and posting just to camouflage or make people think that yes she's really moving on that there's nothing painful about the whole situation but she has really she has finally come out and she has finally disclosed the truth that yes actually her love story failed but let the young ones not give up on love 
so she also advised the young ones especially the women that they shouldn't give up on love the fact that her own love story failed doesn't mean that theirs will fail or let them not look at someone's love story and then capitalize on it that love is a scam or there is no love that there is still love and let them look for it let them follow their heart that they will find love also okay moving on to what she she said let me read it for you this is what she tweeted love is a beautiful thing love is so sweet and is truly a gift to one another and love doesn't hurt if it does that aren't love don't give up on love mm. finally she has admitted that love is sweet love is good you know turn to decay you see you people shouldn't be uh, deceived by their social media looks yes they are human beings and they have feelings also sometimes they go through a lot but if they come out on social media you think that this this lady is a iron lady or hard girl that she doesn't feel anything no they they do in fact her marriage that failed she felt it also this recent one that happened with her and obogri she also felt it and she has finally come out at last to admit it and yes she had a failed relationships love relationships that didn't work out but let the youth not give up on love let them not follow her footsteps because of her own failed so they sh- so there's no love something like that <sighs> don't to decay i i just just calm down okay yes sometimes we pretend like it doesn't hurt but it do just calm down i hope you still love will still locate you because you are still beautiful and you are young just calm down love will still locate you but this thing that you said about love doesn't hurt if it does it i totally disagree with you because if love doesn't hurt that which means it's not love do you know what is love love is the most imperfect thing in the world that's why you see a beautiful lady or a handsome guy getting married to this man or this woman that you never expect him or her to marry but they love that is love when you break up with someone that you love you feel the pain love to hearts if you don't feel the pain then it's not love that's why when you break up with someone or when when someone that that you love breaks up with you you feel you feel it you feel like everything has collapsed you feel like your world has ended you feel that pain you feel that confused that is love so if you said love doesn't hurt then i think you are misunderstanding love and to my own observation i think that is where you are also getting it wrong love to heart but in that heart you also find perfection in it that's why when somebody way you love right now but they say no more interested your mind will fly your mind go like your heart go pieces at that point you you want to do anything possible just to make that person change her mind or his mind that is love but if you don't love the person even if you catch the person cheating on you you say i beg you like you you won't feel it but if you love someone and you caught the person cheating on you you be devastated you you feel very hurt to the extent that you, at that point you don't know if you should commit suicide or do something stupid that is love that's what love does 
In fact, the most let me just put it like this the most symptom of love is pain i don't know if i got it right but the most basics of love is pain because love comes with pain yes don't to decay i just hope that you change that your perception of love because that is wrong Maybe that is where you are getting it wrong. That's why those relationships didn't work out. Because you feel like love doesn't hurt. If it, if it hurts, then it's not love. No. Okay, guys. Let's talk about Bob Risky. Bob Risky dedicated he or her house. Mm, because me, I don't know what to put up. He dedicated he or her house and she called some spiritual people to come and you know bless it but that's not the case the house is not what is trending what is trending is what happened on the video guys me you know be like i just they carry the talk i'm gonna watch them oh yeah roll it After that video surfaced online, people have been dropping their opinion, dropping their comments. And guys, I will read some of the comments to you and then you can tell me what you think on the comment section. Now, this person said, the Southerners Nigerian Muslims are so civilized. This can't happen up north, Sha. This one also said, Southern Muslims are just confused. They want validation from other religions. That's why they do what 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 our religion does not permit. So this one, she's a Muslim, and she's saying that the religion doesn't permit of risky sitting on a chair. So this one also said, God forbid. So, in fact. Uh, the tweets are many the tweets are many and it has been trending so guys but i would like to know what you think tell me what you think drop your opinion let's deliberate about it Let's talk about spain and germany according to the report let me read the article for you spain germany battle wildfire armed unusual heat wave in Europe. Firefighters in Spain and Germany are struggling to contain wildfires armed a heat wave in Western Europe, unusual for this time of the year. The worst damage in Spain has been in the north, northwest province of Zamora. Zamora where more than 25,000, sorry, 61,000 acres have been consumed by flames. Regional authorities said on Sunday, German officials said residents of three villages near Berlin were ordered to leave their homes on Sunday because of an approaching wildfire. Experts have linked this abnormally hot period for Europe to climate change. Guy, the way the, the climate they change now, I not just understand it. Europe now where they cool now don't they hot. Africa now don't where they hot now don't they cool. <laughs> Since how many days now? Go and keep us in for Africa. <laughs> this is like not the balance so micro rows above 40 degree Celsius 104 degree in many Spanish cities throughout the week 
such temperatures that are usually expected in August. So which means it came it came earlier. It wasn't expected. A lack of rainfall this year combined with gusting wind has also produced the condition for the fire. I see. Hmm. Okay guys, this one happened in Europe. And all I can say is the weather is changing. This climate change is, is getting alarming because flood is happening in Africa, most part of Africa. Uh, wildfire there that's there has been a, some kind of you know natural natural disasters happening uh, God save us all that will be all in this episode and you know how we do right here stay tuned stay glued I'll be bringing you more interesting Activating hot gist very shortly. But please subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget like, comment, share with your friends so that you can be part of this wonderful family. God bless.